a Cuban scholar named Roberto Patila came to the United States after spending 20 years under Castro. He marveled at what he saw, something that he hadn't even noticed during his visit here 20 years ago. When visiting the campuses of our major universities, he said, I am struck by something that will be obvious to all Americans. No one, government official or colleague, has asked me what I was going to say in the seminars and courses that I'm going to give this fall. This is new for me, simple but true. It is difficult to ask anyone born into freedom to realize exactly what she or he possesses. Well, Mr. Padilla went on to explain that freedom is invisible. It is the absence of the government censor, the absence of the secret police, the absence of an agent of repression. You know, I couldn't think, help but think when those beautiful young people were here singing our two national anthems. So many, and so many of you, only know about the Cuba that some of us know about, the free Cuba, from hearing us talk about it. You can't get more Cuban than an espresso and a Padilla Miami. This is really the cigar that launched us. 20 years ago, we walked into a little factory here on 8th Street looking to replicate the cigars our family in Cuba produced. And we found it with a gentleman called Pepin Garcia, who at the time had a small factory. The tobaccos he was using are from Agronosa Tobacco Growers, also a Cuban family, and are producing in Nicaragua. This cigar went on to win the top 25 cigars of the year several times. It's a limited release. Depends on how much of a certain tobacco we can get that is in here, produced every about every quarter or a year. It's made by all Cuban master rollers here in Miami. The style is entubado inside. It's a Cuban style of making cigars. And unlike Nicaragua, where you pairs work together, meaning the person who does the filler is not necessarily the person who finishes the cigar, this is done 100% Cuban style. The heads are triple capped. Like I said, the construction inside is entubado, and the tobaccos inside are very, very limited. They come from the Oliva tobacco family of Tampa. That was originally from Cuba and has been doing this over 100 years, one of the top producers in our industry. And the fillers are all Nicaraguan, first generation, Aganorsa grown tobaccos. The same as we did when we first started with Pepin Garcia. It's now being made here on A Street and 11th Avenue, hence the name, still made in the same area that we originally started off with El Titan de Bronce. If you're here in Miami, come down, usually open Monday through Friday, and see the cigars being made. Every quarter, we'll do a small batch, release it exclusively on our website.